Hello, my name is Instructor Baxter with Martial Arts Board of Lake Mary. Today's educational video is for Mudo Self Defense 1 through 10. Remember, guys, when doing Mudo Self Defense 1 through 10, the key important thing is you must key up. If you're receiving attack and as attack, and number one, if you're receiving, so that your partner knows that you are ready to receive attack and defend yourself. So, number one, just for going through all the attacks first from fighting stance, remember 1A, 1B. A is lead hand straight punch, B is reverse punch. Number two, A and B, lead hand uppercut, reverse hand uppercut. Number three, A and B, lead hand straight punch, reverse hand straight punch. Number four, back leg front kick for 4A, 4B is stepping front kick. On to number five. Five has A, B, and C. All of the attacks for five are all stepping roundhouses, so make sure you get a good step in front, turning your hips over to execute the proper roundhouse for all A, B, and C. Now remember, on 5C, you don't want to fully execute that roundhouse because the defense is a back side kick. If you fully step through and execute the roundhouse, you're going to receive a nice strong back side kick from your partner. Number six. Six has A and B part. Both parts are stepping. Sidekick for the attacks. Seven, A and B. For both A and B, the attack is stepping outside swing kick. On to eight A and B parts. Eight A and eight B both. Inside swing kick. On to number nine. Now number nine A is a jam. Technically you want to do pickaxe for the attack for nine A and B, but it's very hard to defend against a pickaxe with a jam. So you want to try, just bring the knee up, let your partner jam it until they get used to it. Then you can speed it up or start executing real pickaxes. Now remember, 9B, execute a real pickaxe. 10, A, B, and C, all three attacks are back side kick. Execute all three accordingly. Now, for the first five Mudo self-defense, I'm going to bring in my partner, the infamous Susie Kwan, please. We're going to demonstrate one, two, three, four, and five. Susie will be defending, I will be attacking. Chidi up, kuni. Mudo, fighting sanction B. Now remember, Susie's going to key up to let me know she is ready to receive the attack so that I don't hurt her or you hurt your partner. One A, one B. Now we're moving on to number two. Remember the attack is uppercut. Susie's going to execute a low block, straight punch of the filtrum at the same time, and then follow up with a uppercut to my stomach. And B. Now on to number three. Same attack as number one A and B, but Susie's going to kick with a front leg side kick for both defenses, no matter which punch, it's just depending on where you're gonna kick. So A, obviously you want ribs, flexibility, get up there in the armpit area. B, solar plexus, stomach area. Here is three A. And three B. On to number four. Now four, remember, A is back leg front kick. So all Susie's gonna do is execute a low block, Stepping up, executing a punch to my chest for 4A. And on to 4B. Now remember, 4B is a stepping front kick. So as I step, Susie's actually going to step back to create separation, executing a low block, and then returning a front kick to my growing area. One more time. Very good. Now on to number five, remember there's three parts on number five, A, B, and C. I am attacking with a stepping roundhouse, where Susie is keeping her guard up entirely because we know roundhouse can either go here or here for effectiveness. Can you roundhouse me? Absolutely, but that's another story. So right now, we want to make sure we keep the guard up. A, she's going to punch right into the chest. Ready? Now B, same attack, stepping roundhouse, but Susie is going to step back to create separation Still keeping that guard up, but this time she's going to return a roundhouse kick. Are we ready, Susie? Sir. Ha! Ha! Boom! Roundhouse right in the bread basket. Now we're on to C. Remember, 
Do not fully execute the roundhouse because as soon as I step, Susie's gonna go right into a back side kick to stop me completely. Ha! Ha! And bottle. Ooh. Do. Do. Yep. Kunyi. Do. Very good, Susie Kwan. Now, for number six through ten, I'm going to bring up the one and only Mrs. Sarah Mursky. Sir, yeah. Notice Sarah is wearing the beautiful banana colored Mudo Dobak Day in representation of Mudo Self Defense. She, yep. Kunyi. No. Body thing should be. Yeah. Just like Susie, Sarah is going to key up to let me know she is ready to be attacked. Now remember, six A and B, the attacks are both stepping side kick. 6A, Sarah is going to jam my hip so that I cannot even execute the stepping side kick. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Help! Hey See that? I can't even go forward. Now B, she's going to shuffle back, creating separation, and then return the exact same kick I'm kicking at her stepping side kick. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Help! Hey Boom! Right into the ribs. Perfect. On to number seven. Now seven is a stepping attack as well. Both A and B, we're going to step, execute an outside swing kick. So step, outside swing kick. Sarah's going to execute a high block and punch same side. Reason being punching same side is because my chest has turned this direction. It's very hard to execute a punch opposite, especially with my guard up. But here, she has my chest completely open to execute that punch. Seven, eight. Right into the chest. Now 7B, just like 6B, she's going to shuffle back out of the way, execute a stepping side kick right back toward me. Ha! She's doing so good today. Both of my senses are awesome. Now, number eight, the attack is back leg inside swing kick. Regular old inside swing kick. Now the difference between seven and eight are high block but punching with opposite side for eight instead of same side like seven. Ha! Aya! Boom! Right into the solar plexus. Now, 8B, just like 6B and 7B, she's gonna shuffle back out of the way, return, stepping side kick. Ha! Aya! I felt that one. On to number nine. Now, 6A, 9A, and 10A are all jams. Remember, always try executing jam with lead leg, front leg, because number one, it's closer. So it's a little bit quicker getting it up there to stop that position. Now, remember, nine, as I said before, the attacks are pickaxe, but it's hard in the beginning to execute a jam on a pickaxe. So I want to make sure I execute almost like a push kick, bringing my leg up so she can execute a simple jam on my thigh for 9A. Pretty simple, right? Now, on to 9B, I'm gonna execute a full pickaxe, just like 6B, 7B, and 8B. She's gonna shuffle back, return stepping side kick. Ha! Now, we're up to number 10 today. 10, just like five, has three different attacks. All the attacks are back side kick. Three different sorts of defenses those required there. Number one, 10A is a jam. 6A, 9A, 10A, all a jam. Now when you're jamming a back side kick, it's a little bit easier to get right there on the cheek. Why? Because if you get right on the cheek, completely as I would do my leg up, boom, it's gonna completely stop that kick from executing number one. Number two, if you give a little push, I'm going to go completely opposite direction. So we're going to execute 10-8. I think I got whiplash. Now, on to 10-B. Same attack, back side kick. But this time she's going to shuffle back and return a roundhouse, a back leg roundhouse. Pretty simple thus far. Now we've got one left, 10-C. 10C is just like 6B, 7B, 8B, and 9B. Shuffle back, stepping side. Ha! Oh, and my room. No, yep. Excellent. And that concludes.
is our educational video today from Martial Arts School, Lake Mary. I'm an instructor, Baxter, and please practice responsibly.